Hey guys, so uh, as this channel grows, and you can imagine, I get more and more and more comments. And most of them, the vast majority of them, are great or asking questions or whatever, but uh, you know, I'm getting more and more and more comments from people who are like outraged at something that I say, mostly about specific person stuff, but just in general. People who, you know, are hardcore believers, like sort of like Neville extremists, maybe, that, maybe that's what I'll call them from now on, but just, you know, people that vehemently disagree with something that I say and then feel the need also, not just to disagree, but to put it all out there in a comment at me. I'm gonna tell you most of the time, uh, if you come at me like that, I just delete the comments. But I wanted to uh, tell you, I wanted to, you know, um, put the, frame this in a different way and, you know, um, just sort of show you what a gift this is. The fact that this channel is here and that I'm here talking about this stuff is a gift to you. And I don't mean because my thoughts are so freaking awesome or unique or helpful or any of that. It's a gift because whenever you have a reaction to something, whenever there's something presented to you that gives you this like upset, angry reaction uh, or something, you know, it shakes your, you know, you feel like you're gonna have a meltdown over something that somebody said, it's an opportunity for you. It's another chance for you to grab the key and let yourself out of the prison. Anytime you have a reaction towards somebody like some of the people have had in the comments towards me, it's got nothing to do with that person. It's not about me. Even if you don't like me and you have a good reason for that or you think something I said is wrong and you have a good reason for that, when you have these like passionate, angry, like emotional reactions or even really anything that deviates from the balanced center feeling, um, that is about you. And it's an opportunity for you to say, why am I having this reaction? Why am I reacting this way? Um, and if you can figure that out, you will stop reacting that way. So I am giving you the gift of offending you. Okay, I'm giving you the gift of upsetting you. I'm, of course, I'm just, I'm being facetious, uh, sort of, except really it is because, you know, we just go around reacting to shit. People that are unexamined, they just, they're like ping pong balls bouncing off of everything and, and they're at the mercy of everybody else. When you start to understand that this is all about you and then you're willing to take the focus off the person that you think is, is doing something to you and look at yourself and say, why am I reacting this way? Um, I mean, you have all the keys to all the prisons already if you're just willing to look at things when they come up. And I usually get this, honestly, and a good example is from the SP people. When I talk specifically, people that have an ex uh, that the relationship broke up and they want to get back together. That's the crowd I think that really like, they really violently react to things I say about the SP, SP stuff. And it's because, I don't even have to tell you to examine this, I'll tell you exactly why it is. It's because these people have convinced themselves that the only way for them to be whole and complete or happy or whatever is to have this person back. The idea that that could possibly not be the right thing for them is just like, it just destroys it just destroys whatever this sort of illusion that they built for themselves is the illusion being that they need that person to be happy one and that that person is going to make them happy um you know both of those things are just not true so you know anytime you have a reaction to me or anybody um you know i think when you get to the point where you can actually like you don't actually act on the urge to react like um you actually stop and think about your own self in relation to this person instead of just raging out at somebody i mean that's a major leap forward in life in general when you get to the point where you do that and then when you can start to resolve these things actually figure them out and actually find yourself in similar situations that would trigger you in the past and then you um react differently to them you know you you in the moment catch the old thing remind yourself of what you figured out and then you start reacting differently. I mean, this is the thing that changes your world. So um, yeah, I think I'll title this video, The Gift of Neville Goddess. Um, it's, you know, it's tongue in cheek, but it really is true. You know, when you find yourself having, you know, if you don't like me, ask yourself, why don't you like me? You know, and then figure out what it is about you. What, what is it about, uh, why do you hate those qualities? You know, you'll find all the answers in you for everything. Um, 
Because the truth is like happy, whole, complete, peaceful people generally don't have these enormous emotional reactions to, you know, to everyday things, to people just talking about stuff. Like whatever I'm saying that upsets you is banging up against something that you believe or need to believe is true. Um, and, you know, the fact that you're having a reaction to a belief you have like that is a sign that it needs to be examined and probably changed. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Um, thank you to the poster who left me a comment saying that they had wanted to leave me, you know, a, like kind of a ragey comment about my last SP video, but didn't. And then sat around thinking about it for a few days and came to the conclusion that, you know, they actually didn't need that person and that that person had, you know, occupied too much of their space and all of that occupied too much of their mental space. I appreciate you leaving me that comment. Um, you're the reason that I make this channel, honestly. I think that is probably deep down the reason that I make this channel is because I, I know I know people are walking away from some really bad situations because of me, because they've told me. And so that kind of keeps me going through all the shitty comments, which don't really bother me, but it's, you know, I would prefer not to, I would prefer not to have that in my life. I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm reading all the comments and everything at this point. Honestly, I probably can't do that for a lot longer because um, there's just too many of them. And I, I just only have so many hours of the day that I'm willing to devote to this. And now the Neville Goddard subreddit too. Um, but you know, that makes it worth it. So thank you. Have a great day.